Hey, what's up everybody? It's John from The Lucky Needle and today we are going to start on the adventure of sawing all of these logs up into usable lumber. The first project I want to make is the solar kiln. So we're going to cut as many of these up into two by fours and two by sixes that we can and get the most out of each log. So that's what we're going to work on. And the other thing too is as we're cutting these logs up, we're going to be feeding that big fire pit over there. That, that burn pile, because we need to burn that. So it's going to be a good video. We're going to do a lot of log sawing and a lot of big fire burning. So um, the, the other reason too that I'm, I want to really make sure that we get these logs uh, sawn up and drying is because they're getting attacked by bugs. And if you come look here in the bark, there's there's a lot of little little termites or mites or something, bark beetles or... I'm not sure what they are, but they're definitely not doing us any favors, especially that big guy. So we want to make sure that we get this cut up and drying so that we don't ruin all of this hard work that we did. So that's what we're working on today. All right, so I'm pretty new to this whole sawing lumber and making wood and everything, but from everything that I've read online, if you're gonna make like lumber that you use for construction, these sawmills are precise enough now where you don't need to cut them to an actual two inch by four inch piece for a two by four and then go back and mill and plane it. Um, so what we're doing is we're gonna account for the shrinkage from what I read, it's an eighth inch of shrinkage as it dries. So we're gonna cut, uh, I'm making these little templates so that we can just set it right on the log and put the blade up next to it so we know that uh, this is gonna be the two by four size that we need. And I'm gonna do one at a two by six too. I think it's gonna work. I don't, I, I, I have not seen anybody do this. This is just an idea that I came up with. So we're gonna give it a shot. So the idea that I've got for these templates here is what we're going to do is they're kind of like a go no-go gauge. Um, we'll set it on the blade and then we'll raise and lower it to set it right exactly where we want. And that way we don't have to... Um, we don't have to worry about accounting for the thickness of the saw blade and all of that. So I'm hoping this will save us a little bit more time. Maybe there's a better way to do this, but this is kind of what I've come up with. And then also, you know, this way when we start to cut the, the other side. So the other thing what I'm trying to do is make sure we get the most out of these logs. and. Um, since we're kind of squaring up the log here, what I want to try and do is make sure I cut it low enough so that we can get one two by four out of this scrap piece right here.
We certainly got the most out of that log, huh? Let's sell some hardwood floor for this thing. Can make hardwood floor for the A-frame cabinet. These fuckers are why we need to get this wood cut as soon as possible. So every two by four, 16 foot two by four we cut out of this log, that's like 20 bucks at Home Depot. I'm nervous about me trying to push it. We got 14 boards cut today. Uh, probably do more in one day than that, but you know, we're learning. And uh, it's pretty exciting. These boards are looking really good. We're gonna call it a night because it's starting to get dark. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna hit it hard and we're gonna get as many of these logs cut up as we can. The stack of wood's gonna be like this high here pretty soon. So that's what we're working on. So we've been sawing a couple of logs today. It was going nice and smooth until uh, this blade, it got, it came off the track and got broke. And then it got wedged behind this pulley here. And we're kind of at a loss on how to get this out. Um, it's wedged in there really good and I don't, not really sure what we're gonna do, but we gotta get it fixed somehow. <laughs> so just keep taking bolts off until until it comes apart, I guess. But here, let's see. Almost maybe now you could hit it with a hammer here, fucking get it out. Big 
bitch. So that's the second blade that we've destroyed on this uh, learning adventure of how to saw wood. So now I'm curious how much readjusting we're gonna have to do because I wonder if it knocked anything out of alignment when this happened, so. Yeah. All right, so now that we got the blade back on and it's running running straight again, everything looks to be pretty good. We fired it up a minute ago and, and ran it and it did, the blade didn't come off or anything. Uh, definitely something got tweaked when, when we had that accident and then the, uh, the blade wasn't staying on there straight. But one, I, I believe the reason that this happened was because there's supposed to be this, uh, this little like blade guard thing. This thing is supposed to sit right in front of the blade so that if you hit one of the metal log stops or something, this will stop it. But the problem is, is it's just got this little teeny tiny baby like Allen set screw here and it's just not strong enough to hold it. The vibration makes it fall down and then it gets in the way or it falls out and then you hit a log stop. So what I'm gonna do and you can see here how I've tightened it a bunch of times against this and then it just continually keeps falling out. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the garage and I'm gonna drill out this hole uh, quite a bit bigger and put an actual bolt in there, re-thread it and put an actual bolt so that it'll hold this thing really nice and sturdy because uh, We've only been using this thing for two days now and we already destroyed two blades, so. I don't wanna be blowing money on blades all day, so we gotta fix this. <laughs> oh, all right, so I think she's all back up and running, so we're gonna, this is gonna be, we're gonna finish off this cut here and see, make sure nothing goes crazy, hopefully. Hopefully we did everything correctly and we don't destroy any more blades. Uh, we got the blade guard. It's much more solid now that we have a normal size bolt in there, so I'm happy about that. And hopefully we won't be running into any of the log stops anytime soon. Mm. The adjustment that we did was too much. Just stop, eh? <laughs> <sighs> okay. It hit it? Yeah. It wasn't that close.
All right, so it's Saturday today. We're doing some yard work. Matt's out there on the tractor. We're gonna get ready to burn this burn pile that's been sitting here for quite a few months. It's getting pretty large. Um, my buddy Tony, he's coming over. He's bringing over a whole truckload of um, of just garbage wood that he had laying around his house and that he was gonna use it for firewood and then it rotted. So I told him just bring it on over here and we'll burn it all at once. So that's what he's doing. He's coming over. We're gonna unload it, put it on top of the pile with the tractor and then we're gonna light that sucker and it's gonna be going to be a big one. to the burn pile. Come on. Come on, Clyde. Come on. Come on, buddy. Bring it over here. Come on. Bring it here. Get it. Good boy. You almost made it. You're like 20 feet. Can you, can you go try again? <laughs> Alright, the fire is loaded and now it's time to light it. <laughs> well done. It was so dry. I don't want me laughing on this. Big bed. Oh, it's Well, all right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow along with our journey of everything we're doing out here in Alabama. We'd love for you to be a part of it.